Welcome everyone, it's uh, Natalie aka Factilians and I'm going to be your reporter for today, your Decentraland reporter for today. Hope you guys have been having a lovely Monday. And if you're new here, I am, um, my focus of my streams as a reporter tends to be around the creativity, the tools behind it, the people building the metaverse you get to go play in, and today's um, stream is going to be exactly that. I'm going to dive into Far Out Murals, I'm going to go over some blender tips, some building tips, and go check out a really cool, the cool build of Far Out Murals and also their um, the puzzle game and the coin and the spray can game, all this fun stuff within there. So let's dive in. I'm over at DCL headquarters. I hope you guys can join me. So if any of you guys are in Decentraland right now, I'm over here at headquarters. I'm gonna go head upstairs here. For today, I have a little um, little recording for you guys that I did because, as you can see, it is rather slow for me in this world. <laughs> Let me face towards you guys here. There you go. I'm gonna just leave it as is for now. <laughs> it's being good. Um, hopefully, you guys can hear me. Hello. Okay. I think it sounds okay. <laughs> I had a little incident with my headphones and they're partially broken. So if you I was just checking. If you can't hear me throughout my stream, please let me know. It is showing here on Twitch stream that there is um Whoa. Hold on a second. There we go. Um, it is showing that there is audio going in, so hopefully that is okay. So, um, yeah, let me let me actually try to get up these stairs. Head over here, and then I'll dive into the report. I always like to be here. Okay. Now that's a spot. Cool, so today marks my 30th show here as the Decentraland reporter, and um, today I, I let me I have a special po-op like usual. Let me uh, get it open here and show you guys my po-op of the day. So those of you who stick to the end, I will put a link and you guys um, can get a po-op. And also today, three the first three people who submit get a wearable, the one I'm wearing right now, the UFO wearable. So this is the plot for the day and it's again to commemorate um, Far Art Murals. I'll just leave that up there for a little bit. And here let me add a link in case and if you guys are new to Decentraland you can actually um, here, let me save here and see if I can actually add this to the... Here are the coordinates of where I am, the Decentraland Reporter headquarters here. Cool. Okay, so um, first and foremost, I guess we need to head over for the meta moment of the day. And um, actually, I'm gonna leave that to maybe after the little video I have for you guys. I have a video for you guys, and we do when we'll head over to expand to put the meta moment of the day. And um, yeah, so before we dive into the build that I'm gonna showcase today, um, let's see if it'll just switch. Yep switched over. We're gonna check out Foul Mural's build in the, that is has a cool game, um, almost parkour type game that I was not very good at as you guys will see. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about Far Out Meals, what it is. The actual event took place not that long ago, May 26th through the 29th. And uh, Far Out Meals is an annual arch program dedicated to facilitating and creating beautiful murals 
Stroud Forno County. They do have amazing murals, and this project is the brainchild of the amazing Yule Tech. And him and Boombox Head, and I helped a little bit as well, and I'll show you guys some of the stuff I did, recreated um, this whole area of town in Decentraland and created some cool puzzle games and um, a cool, like, you have to run around and collect these spray cans. So all of this was done with spray can art, which is really awesome. So um, if you guys want to find out, check out Fire Art Murals. Here is the link for that. And yeah, it's definitely, if you ever find yourself in Southern Colorado, it's definitely worth ta stopping by in Walsenburg and checking out the actual four day event is really, I mean, three day, four day event is really cool. And also here, let's check out some of the gallery and then we'll head on over to the build, which is really cool. So this is Far Mural. Look at these beautiful images. And as you, when you go into the, as we dive into the build, you will see some of these things will start to look a little familiar, which is really cool. I learned so much helping out with this. And I just, again, I like to showcase all the work that goes into, oh my God, Mariana, thank you. Rate of 17, holy moly, hey everybody. Awesome, thank you guys for coming. Can you guys all hear me? Hey, Frisky Bumblebee. Hey, Mariana. Thank you. Or Mariana. Am I saying it right? Mariana. I'm saying it in Spanish. In Spanish, we say it Mariana. But right now, I'm showcasing... Um, today's um, episode is all about Far Hills, which is um, the, the build that we're going to check out is a recreation of this event in Decentraland. and has a cool game and a couple cool games. And also, if you do the whole game, you will get this wearable that I'm wearing that is showing up here on my um, as a POAP that UFO wearable is up for grabs and also if you do the challenges that we're going to official crypto cube yay hey Mariana, everybody thank you guys all these people hope you guys stay we have a little wearable giveaway if you look at that POAP um, it's like an aura of UFOs flurring about me that is the giveaway for today and I'm going to um, put a post in form later in the stream today First, I have a little pre-recorded kind of overview of this build, but I'm giving you guys a little background before we dive on in. Hey there! Thank you for coming! So, this is the Far Out Mural recreation that we're going to head to here in a minute. But here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start the... Since everything takes forever for me to load in Hunterland, let me uh, get that rolling here. <laughs> and I'm going to share... I'm gonna actually like it, there. There's a video for it, but I'm also gonna share the link here so you guys can actually run around while you watch what I'm doing. But since it's it's always a little bit laggy, I, I pre-recorded this so it wouldn't be so bad when I'm kind of talking about it. I'll let that be there for a second. But yeah, I really recommend you guys checking out farmurals.com and checking out all the work that goes into this um, mural program. And then again, the recreation was done in order to bring more winners to the project and also um, create some really cool games in there. So let me get my, my little video that I made for you guys all ready. Let me see if it'll open up. There it is. And I'm going to hit play. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. The audio might be a little bit funky, but um, this should definitely um, be more enjoyable than me trying to run around in, in super lag, because it wasn't too lag, super laggy when I did this. So enjoy, and then after this is done, this is about 35 minutes, not too bad, and then after this is done, I'll have the link and the wearable giveaway and the pull-ups for you guys. So enjoy. Let me uh, get it started. What's up everyone? I'm here over at the Far Out Mural build. Um, <laughs> do a little dance here. So this build was um, uh, has been up for a little while now and um, you guys check out the wearable, the UFO wearable that I have here is one that I actually um, designed for this and it's part of if you actually participate in this and um, Go look for the um, all the cans, all the spray cans, uh, and actually do some of the puzzle game. You can get 
We'll get a POAP and a free wearable. Do -do. <laughs> this is fun seeing dance. You guys who watched me last week know this is one of the wearables that I bought. It's so cool. I could watch, watch that all day. So yeah, um, so this build is on um, parcel 20, negative 87. And this is part of the crew, um, IRL crew. Um, we were the recipients of one of the Decentraland DAO grants. And this is one of the bills that was done with it. And this is actually... Um, a recreation of a of the mural program that actually is a, a real in real life place in here in southern Colorado. So let's head on in. So welcome to Far Out Mural. We've created several mural puzzles for you to solve in order to win a prize. Cool. So there's the progress bar and actually let me see. Let me adjust the screen a little bit here. There we go. So you guys now can see a little bit more. There. A little bit like this. Okay. So there's two different things you can do here. One of them is now head over and... Because all these murals are done with spray can. So you got to collect these little spray cans. It's just a lot of fun. So um, you get a POAP if you find them all. And they're all over the build. So the cool thing, if you see here, these are actually some of the real murals that are have been created as part of this pro program that has been going on for many years now. Um, I should know the exact amount. I will find that out. But yeah, one of the things you can do, and this is actually not easy at all. You have to like, okay, you come over here and you click on um, right there. And it actually, you saw how the puzzle was? You actually have to, here, let me zoom out so you guys can see. You actually have to move all of these pieces around. Let me see, hold on. Let's see. There you go. You have to move them around and have them actually um, match up with the background area. And it takes a long time. So you can go along here and see how they're all shifted around. So if you... Uh, or one of those people that likes puzzles, this is the one for you. It's just fun clicking on here and seeing how it shuffles them. So it has the numbers, so you kind of know how they're supposed to go. Which I think helps a hell of a lot, because it's hard to know exactly, especially one like this, how it works. So it's kind of like a Rubik's Cube. So if you guys are some that like these Rubik's Cube type puzzles, this is definitely one for you. And I'm not going to just sit here clicking away for you, but if, you, if you're missing Mega Cube, you can click on cubes here. It will be a nice reminiscent <laughs> project for you. So again, these are all actual in real life um, murals in um, Southern Colorado and Walsenburg, which is an amazing town that I've been driving through many years gone the way to the Great Sand Dunes, one of the coolest places in the world. Um, one of the UFO hotspots of the world, in case you didn't know, the San Luis Valley. Famous for that since the previous, since the way back in the day they've been seeing strange things in that area so all these murals are perfect for your adventures on your way there so i'm going to keep collecting some cans and that's as you can see progress bar for cans that's part of it and then if you click on all these buttons that's for um, the cool puzzle um, so let's start with the can collection let me go back into Okay, so this part is not very easy, but this is a little um, collider area, and the hardest part I have is jumping over to that box. Ah! So, yeah, I'm going to only try it a couple more times, and then um, I'm going to let you guys, let's see, each time I do it, I always over jump it. But if you're good at parkour, no, <gasps> oh, I did it, thank God. Okay, so. <laughs> Last time I fell off the roof, I'm not going to go anywhere near the edge. So now what you have to do is you're on the rooftop and now you got to go collect. Let's see. Ooh, hold on a second. Maybe there's a way to get up there too. Let me see. I haven't really explored a lot of this, so this is kind of like my first time here. But as you can tell, I'm not the best. Oh no, I fell. 
<laughs> well, we can just take a look and walk around. The, and, and if you go again, if you're in Walsenburg, all of these are real places. This is pretty cool. So there's the puzzle. We already done that at screen. Let's wander around a little bit. Do, 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 do. Let's go check out the outside. This is the funeral home. This is the we already did that. Yeah, let's just go back in. I wonder if I can climb on this. Now I'm trying to figure out different ooh, that little collider issue there. Wish there was a sneaky way to get up on that way. Now I have to attempt the impossible. Let me see if I can do it this way better. Oh, the thing is I keep rocking. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do, do, do. I think I'm going to attempt running to that from another point. Let's see. Okay, I'm back on the roof. I won't do anything silly this time. Okay, I'm gonna collect some more. Oh, uh, let's see if I can jump over there to jump over there. Now that's the next thing. This is definitely a, a build for any of you guys who love challenges. Okay, I think I need a running start to get on that. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm... That's the one meant for me. But it's very good for all of those who, who like puzzles and enjoy enjoy parkour. It is a difficult one. Ooh, I wonder if I can get up here. Where I think that's a dead. I'm not sure if that goes anywhere. No, you can't go up that way. Okay. Maybe third time's a charm. I think there's too many challenges for a parkour challenge person like myself. I need to improve my skills. Damn. I think it's too sensitive. Well, <laughs> I think you guys are going to be not be very happy with me. Okay, I'm gonna, this is going to be my last try. Okay. Well, that's it. No more. No more. No more. Oh, look at that. I made it into here. There's probably more hidden stuff in there, too. Well, I hope some of you guys um, are, especially those who know how to move around to Central Land, can... Uh, Yeah, I, I think they need to change that collider to make it easier. That is really, really hard. Oh, look, there's another can. I'll just collect that one. Okay. Well, now that I've tortured you guys a little bit with that, maybe there's a way to get on the roof another way. I'm sure some of you guys will figure that out for me. Wish I could jump through the roof on that. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. No. I was trying to see if there's a, a way to beat the, beat the game. No, but inside here is pretty cool. There's like a ch cool little chill van in here that you design. Well, let's, let's head over to, um, wanted to show you guys a couple things. So today is going to be a little bit about the behind the scenes of a build. And one of my parts in this was doing, you know, the you know, four wearable that you see here. And that was a lot of fun to do. So I'm going to dive into Blender a little bit today. And then I'm going to also showcase, because I was also the one who did the little, that little can was modeled by um, Boombox Head. And I got to do the little texture it was, and do a little, little animation. 
which is fun. So it wasn't a, a huge part in this, but it's been it's been fun to contribute in, in variety of ways to each build. So I'm gonna do a little dance for you all. I guess before we head out, I wanted to check out a couple of other things around here that I haven't even seen. Let's see what else is being built around here. Hey, look at that. It looks like a UFO. Might as well head up to the UFO and beam up. Hmm. So I beamed up to the UFO with my UFOs and these... I'm on... Check out what... Okay, that's the exit there. Some scary itch ones. Some all right. I wonder if I can get on the roof on here. I don't know if you guys can hear the music coming out of here, but probably not. Interesting showcase of art. A little chill hangout. Oh, I like the little furniture. Anything glowy, I tend to I tend to like. Okay, let's head out of here. There's the exit. Maybe once you're in here, you can't escape. Hmm. Well, since I... Uh, oh, there it is. I don't even know how I got out. <laughs> Let's see what's going on over here. Let's see, escape room. I wonder what that's about. Oh, it doesn't look like there's much there right now. Okay, so let's go. Uh, I want to show you guys a couple things in Blender since I always like to dive in there for a little bit. So let's go back to our... Where did I go? I lost my way. Oh, I think I teleported. Maybe not. There we are. Back home. We're safe. We're back at the fire up murals. Cool. Oh, there it is. There's the. Uh oh. Well. Um. So, maybe next time I'll figure out how to get up there, or actually have the technical skills to parkour my way up there. Let's dive a little bit. I have the window open here. There we go. So, as you saw in that game. This is, um, I hit play. This is the little, um, spray can that I got designed for it. Wish it wasn't so choppy. I wonder what happens, why it's so choppy when it records here. Cool. Well, this is the, um, little spray can so it was a lot of fun and let's, let's dive into it a little bit so one of the things I like to do is always um, you can uh, actually you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna save as so I can like mess this one up it's always good to back up but um, yeah those of you who are new to the stream I always like to go a little behind the scenes and show how I uh, showcase the creators and what it takes to build these worlds and that game was a lot of work there's I, I don't even know how people like the mega cube do it those are huge productions and even doing a smaller game like this was so much work goes into it and it's it's sometimes you run through things and don't necessarily appreciate all the work that went into it and i just want to give you guys a little extra appreciation of all that cool stuff so this is um a little spray can so one of the things I wanted to do for it is I designed this um, in uh, well the model was done by um, by Boombox Head and he sent it over to me and 
I jumped into Illustrator and just created this little, the far mural was a logo is from, uh, has been used for a long time. So I used that. And then down here, you can see the IRL logo. And um, yeah, so the fun part is just, I mean, most of the work happened in Illustrator, but then you can come in here and select it and then just like play around with how you actually want things laid out on it, which is really cool. So up here, um, I basically had already planned what I wanted on here. I wanted to have the logo and I wanted a cool design, like a tech design. And so up here I'm selecting and then playing with the UV mapping. So let's uh, zoom in on here so you guys can see. And um, see, you can see how it can move around what's being shown on there. And that's the top part and down here, the same thing goes for, you can like select everything. Usually what I like to do is do what's called um, project from view. So it actually shows you everything on there or you can select a given area and move around everything around that way. But let's select all. And so if you go on here, now you can play with the size and then you can mess around with how everything is shown on here which is really cool so you can totally adjust how everything shows up on here but the main thing is you really you don't want to like here i'm gonna move this around you can it's kind of fun to see it's doing some funky stuff let's just select a certain area and you can see how it shows up on here Actually, it looks like it's like inverting it, which is kind of interesting. So that unwrapped it that way. So you can play around and see what kind of a wrapping you'd like. I tend to like using, um, it's called project from view and that's what I showed you earlier so then um, and then you can always like go back like for this top part and adjust that part as well but once you get within here you can kind of mess with it and adjust how this is laid out on the actual area here just a lot of fun yeah, so that's, that's one of the, the cool items here that I wanted to show you guys. And let's, uh, let me open up the other one I wanted to show you guys. Let me find it for you guys real quick. Um, this is actually the, um, the wearable that you saw in game that I showed you guys. And it's just, it's some of the fun stuff with this in case you guys are, these are kind of, these wearable types are really popular around Decentraland lately, like the little aura. You see people with like floating sunflowers and floating stars and all sorts of cool things. And um, let me do the same thing for this. I'm going to save another version. Let's call this demo that way I know it's not my final one and I don't mess this one up so um yeah one of the things I did for this the main thing that you have to worry about when you're doing something like this is normals so you want to be able to um where's this thing you want to actually be able to have the image show up on both sides once you're in game because if it's only one-sided, <coughs> if it's only one-sided, then the normals will only show up on one part of the wearable. So like, as you saw in my wearable, no matter what direction you're going and you want it to be like a flat area, you actually see it. So let's go in here. And so just to show you guys what actually was ended up being done for this, let me select So um, each one of these has two sides. 
So when I click on this, let me just show you guys. And then I click on this, they're actually, um, it's a two sided. Hold on. Dink. So this one plane has actually two sides. So what I did is actually a square cube that I smushed almost flat, but not completely flat because if you make it flat, it's like all sorts of crazy things happen. So, um, I actually line them all up really closely. So you guys can see if you zoom way in here, let's say if I move this, look, if I move it here, I'm going to show you guys here. So you see how this isn't matching up. So on the wearable, you obviously wanted it to be easy. You wanted it two sided. You wanted everything matched up. So that's where I had to match up both of these sides. So I would select one of them and let's see if we can match it up. Pink. There we go. Matched up. And another fun thing that you want to play with when it comes to these is um, the opacity of it. You see how it's kind of transparent? So um, up here, uh, over on the right hand side, if you go to opaque, you can see what it'll actually look like. And that's not what you want it to look like. You want it to have, it's a PNG file and everything's transparent in the background. So, um, so this is what alpha clip looks like, alpha hashed. So alpha hash is the one I really wanted because we you, in, actually in world, we can actually jump back in there and I can show you guys. In world, it's kind of semi-transparent. And that's where that transparency um, by making it alpha hash lets you see that, which is really cool. So for this wearable, one of the things I first did, which I'm sure a lot of you guys do, you can go into the marketplace and kind of see what other people have done and maybe how they worked around things. And that's a good place to start. That's kind of what I did. And then I wanted it to be, um, I played around with, yeah, let's go into um, shading so you guys can see a little bit here. So I, um, I messed around first with the alpha before, this is something I learned afterwards. Thank you, Yule Tech, for this. You can mess with the alpha prior to um, connecting the alpha to the actual gradient texture. And then that way you can adjust the transparency. So in world, um, let's see if it's loaded again. Yeah, let me show you guys real quick. Let me go back to world to show you. So here I am. And you guys, if you see how you can kind of see through the wearable, like you can see some of the background, it's like semi-transparent, which is like um, a little hard to see, but it was, it was definitely something that we did intentionally. So the transparency is light and also the, you can see the glow and the gradient that we did. So yeah, let's go back into Blender real quick. So as you guys, let me go into modeling. So if you guys notice this image here, um, I just did one, one image texture and I tried to make the most of it. And I went from this kind of pink area to more orange salmon to orange. So actually I don't want texture paint, maybe editing, there we go. Okay, so what I did is I designed in Again, this is Illustrator. Most of the hard work with a lot of this stuff starts in Illustrator. You kind of know what you want to do and then you build it out in Blender. But in Illustrator, I took, um, I created a main gradient and then I did cutouts. So I cut out the main logo thing, logo image of the UFO for mural program. And then I um, place these along the way. So you can see from the top all the way to the bottom. I um, then, as you go further down, I put the UV map over that. So I could actually change it up and put it, make it pink, but I wanted it to go from pink to salmony to orange. So that was my little hack and I hope maybe that'll help somebody else. Cause it was, it was definitely like a lot of times you come into here and want to create something and you think it's going to be super fast and easy. It's <laughs> never that way. So, Every time I take a step forward, I take like 50 steps back, but in a good way, because that means you're learning, right? But um, yeah, it was a lot of fun.
playing around with this. So what I did is I, um, of course, imported the armature. Let me turn these on. So you could kind of see how it would look like. You place them around, and that's the fun thing, kind of like experimenting. And I played a lot in the in the builder, of course, uploading and testing and all that fun stuff. But um, yeah, actually, let's see if I can actually open this up real quick to show you something. Let me actually go back to oh. I'm going to go back to the in world here. Now we'll, I'm going to see if we can load this up. Maybe we can all run around here too afterwards. I just like to, sh you know, record and, um, and show you guys these builds so it's not super laggy um, when I'm kind of demonstrating what I'm doing. But let me uh, see if I can open this up for you guys to show you. I always love to showcase Builder too because I'm sure Builder over the years is going to be completely different, probably a lot better. So let's go into Builder. I'm going to switch this out. There we go. Oh, okay, hold on a second. There we go. Okay, I'm going to head over to collections. I'm actually working on a couple other ones, but here is my fire out mural. So those of you who are new to Builder, you can actually build stuff and test them out in world. So how you do that is you just create a new item and you can upload your GLB, GLTF file and then see how it's actually going to function. And that's a lot of this process is testing. And right now I'm in the middle of doing a couple of uh, another wearable shirt and there's there's always some issues so a lot of it's like you create something you export it as a GLB and then you um, actually those were that was actually that let's go into here these were all my my tests that you guys can check out so look at all these different tests. Oh, these are some other ones. I can show you some of the other ones that I had. We were going to have blue, too. Let me open it in editor. So we can go from blue. So these were the early prototypes. And you can see it looks a lot different. There's no gradient. There's no transparency or anything. And then I had a, I think all pink one. Oh, actually, I think this just looks like. Oh, it's the final. <laughs> you can see there it says final. Oh wait, hold on. Let me let me make this a little smaller so you guys can see this a little bit better. So that was the final one. So you can go through all the iterations of uh, of what it looked like see so there's pink power I think a lot of them were messing around with transparencies trying to get that this one as well I think some are higher some are lower um, ooh this one was pretty cool this one I liked a lot too here's another color variation And here's the blue one you saw. And then here is the final one. So within here, this is where you do all the different types of testing to see if it's actually working properly. You can select within here, of course, the famous dance, see if it's going to work and has been paired properly. And then, yeah, just go through the fashionista one. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. But again, it's all testing and all that kind of fun stuff. But of course, the real the real test is when you actually bring it into the world and see how it's going to look. 
but it's always fun to play with in here. And then you can play and see how it's going to work with the male, female model. Just a lot of times that's more important when you're, it's more specifically, it's more specifically um, like a wearable that you have to make for male and female. So here, since it's a cool floaty thing, it's a lot easier. But it's still kind of cool to see. And like, especially if you, you can always upload any kind of things. Like in here in my testing, I can upload a whole bunch of outfits. Oh, wait a minute. That's so cool. I didn't know you could do this. Oh my God. I'm going to layer them all. <laughs> Let's see. I just learned something new. I'm putting, I'm full of UFOs or UFOs. This is getting crazy wild in here, guys. Let's see how many we can get going. It makes sense that you could, you could add them, but I just never thought of it when it came to this one. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's see how many I can add before it really bogs down and hates me. I'm surprised it hasn't crashed already. Yeah, that one was too much. That it made it too saturated. That one's pretty cool though. Let's see. Yeah, you can tell I'm kind of starting to bog things down, but yeah, builder within here. I think we need to try the dance again. You can never go wrong with the dance. But it's always fun to, and also play around with different outfits. So, yeah, all of this kind of stuff, it's, it's pretty hard to show during the stream because it takes a little bit longer. But it's pretty fun. I had no idea I could mix up all of them. But it makes sense because you can always turn on the eye for that. Oh, wait a minute. I just noticed something. I don't know. Hold on a second. That one's already been minted. I don't want to mess with that one. <laughs> Let's see if I can add some. Oh, it actually will flip completely out of that. I guess I just need to upload all these tests. Or you can always download them too, I believe. Oh, wait a minute. Look. No, I can keep adding. Oh my god, this is like going to be my new fun thing to do. This was like me messing around the early days of, of wearable. It's just my little, whoa, what's going on there? I don't think that one, oh, that one wasn't paired properly. Here, let's try this guy. So it's like a walk down memory lane here. Some old designs here. But anyhow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I still think that's a cool, pretty cool little beanie. But yeah, wearable creation is always a challenge. There's always something new to learn. I have a lot to learn when it comes to it still. But every, every one that I've made, I learned something new. It's just really cool. So let's, uh, See if I can uh, load back where I was. There I am. Cool. Okay, well, I'm going to see if this, this will load in real time now, now that I've showcased it, shown you my subpar parkour skills, but I can show off the, 
the, the wearable in world is always fun. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll head back to the stream now. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little <laughs> adventures down um, parkour. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, but here is, for those of you guys who have been here, the, here I have the link for the form and the first three people that fill this out will get that UFO wearable and also a POAP, the POAP of the day. So here is the link. Why isn't it copying it? Hold on. Copy. Sometimes. Oh, I'm using the wrong. Hold on a second. Paste. I have like two computers, so I was using the wrong. So head over to the form and enter. Uh, oh, the word of the week is far out. So you have to enter far out. But go on and fill out the form. I'll send you a POAP. And I do have to send the ones from last week. So I'll do that <laughs> as well. But um, I will send you the POAP of the week. And let's, um, let me, uh, do one thing real quick. I want to, um, so you, as you guys are doing that, I will do the meta moment. I'm going to head over, open up expand and, um, post my meta moment of the week. So hope you guys are able to fill out the form. Let me know if it's successful. Let me uh, open up Expand here and head over and we can do our meta moment. And congrats to Fresh Sweet Bumblebee for being the first winner of the monthly giveaway for having the coolest meta moment. Go Frisky! <laughs> okay, um... I don't know why it's making me lag in. Okay, hold on. Hopefully it'll just log me in. Yes. So Expand is where all us DCL reporters come and hang out. If you want to show support, please consider subscribing. Subscribing to the cool crew and helps us support the whole team. Um, okay, let's head over. Ah, hold on. I don't want to join in communities. No, I want to just. Okay, there we go. I will be positive. No going live promo posts. Conversations. Oh my goodness. I'm in. I like everything they're saying. Okay, let's head over. Oh, wait. I joined a... I didn't mean to join that, but oh well. I did. <laughs> so, my meta moment is... Oh, actually, I can't... Let me, uh... I can't drag it on there, I think. I think last time, last week I tried to do that. Meta moment. So, again, those of you, if you joined just now, um... Wait, I have to do another thing. I'm here. Oh, duh. I haven't even switched the screen. Hold on. Let me switch the screen. I'm being really bad here. Screen share, add. Let me add expand so you guys can be in the same place as me. There we go. Cool. Now you guys are here with me. Let me save this and I'll copy and paste the expand channel for you guys. If you if you want to give my meta moment a thumbs up to qualify for the awesome prize that Frisky Mumblebee just won. Meta, I'll call it Meta Moment 30. Meta 30. Let me... This is... Uh, I need to have some good text. I have no idea what to put it for. Bar, out, mural, build, highlight, and let me, um, can I put the image? And did, were you able to, everybody else here on the stream, hope you guys were all able to access the form and submit for your POAP and wearable. Well, three people could get a wearable. Okay, meta, where is it? Meta 30, there you go. Okay, topic. 
made a moment. I'm gonna post it. Normally it's not this well, but here, let me uh, copy and paste this in case any of you guys want to head over to check out the, our expand community channel where all of us reporters during our streams will post a meta moment. That is mine, and if you like what you see, you can always upvote it. You can go give it a plus. Hopefully you don't not like <laughs> If you don't like it, then don't. That's cool. But this is cool because it represents a wearable. Ooh, you're awesome. Thank you for upvoting. A wearable that hopefully all of you guys here who are in the stream will win. And I have a bunch to give away. I'll probably give away more next week too. Not a bunch. I have like, I think like six or seven. So I'll give away three this week and three next week. And then also there's the Poe app, which might as well start collecting them. I'm definitely going to, I the more you're here, the more I just give you stuff. <laughs> and I think those who have shown up a lot kind of know that by now. Um, but yeah, that's my meta moment of the week. And then let's, um, hopefully you guys all got the link. Let me just find this link again to show you. I'm going to see if I can actually open it up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, come on. It's not letting me copy it real quick. I just wanted to paste the the far out. Oh, and the word of the day is far out. Far out. So be sure to include that in your submission uh, for your POAP. And um, yeah, so let's check out some of the meta moments. There's Mariana. Woohoo! That's an awesome one. Gotta upvote that. That one's really cool. I gotta have to upvote everybody. Gotta upvote this one. Such a cool crew. I definitely need to figure out so I can do more of these streams and worlds so we can all hang out. I just don't know why it's so laggy whenever I do Twitch. Oh my god. Naked Flipper. That would be painful as a boy, I would think. <laughs> That's anyone, actually. <laughs> actually, you know what? I have even more wearables. So I think I have 25 POABs. So I'm going to give everybody a wearable who submits. But also, three are the far out, and then the rest will be um, by... I have these cool wearables. Let's see if I, I can actually get it loaded up. The wearables um, that are given these cool wings, and I will give some of those out too. Yeah, that dude is very brave. <laughs> I don't think I'm a mountain biker and I would never do that with clothes or without clothes. <laughs> I'm not that brave. <laughs> so, anyhow, I don't think this is going to load. It's always so slow. This is why I'm nice to you guys. And, and Chat pause due to scroll. Why is it chat pause? I don't understand. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Mark's place. I think Mark's place is always a great place to and the stream anyway, just to check out. Last time I got in trouble though, I ended up buying things I shouldn't have. But that's how I got the cool outfit, the glowy outfit that I have. And you always get inspired to see what other awesome creators are doing. But if, if you're here in stream and you're a wearable creator, oh yeah, but they do look good. I know, it's so addictive. It's so evil when you have like Bana in there. Once it's converted to Bana, you're like, oh, it's not real money, but it really is real money, right? Oh, it's being... I think I crashed it. Hold on. I don't know why... It over. Hold on, hold on a second. Hmm. Whoops. <laughs> Ew, sorry about that. Hold on. Let me go back to the right place. There I am. I'm having technical difficulties, but I'm still here, if you guys can hear me. Uh... Um, there we go. Screen share. It's, it's whenever I start dragging layers above and below each other that I get into all sorts of heaps of trouble. OK, 
Okay, I'm trying to get the right screen to show. It's being so slow. I really don't even know what I did, how I it kicked me out of where I wanted to go. Now all I'm trying to do is actually show you guys the screen. Okay, hold on. Let me see if it's going to let me do what I wanted to do. There we go. I'm not going to touch anything else. I'm going to get out of this. I think what happened is I clicked... If any of you guys have ever used Twitch, if you click anything, we can hear you. Oh, good. Okay, so... Heading into dangerous waters here. But I did want to show you guys some of the other wearable that I was going to give you. Let's see if it's going to load. Well, let me, maybe it's on here actually. We can start browsing it and I can show it that way. That might have better luck. By Z Kyle. Let's see if it shows up. Z. I think it's considered an accessory top head one. There's a bunch of new watches showing up with a lot of bling. I'm actually, my next wearable is going to be a blingy one. Let's see if I can find his wearable. Oh, that one I like too, the Moon Glow. The Parrot, and I did buy, oh, those kitty ones were pretty funny. I don't know if you remember last week. Doki is awesome. She has great info on creating wearables. I'm a big fan of hers. Ooh, look at that. More glowy things. I like anything that glows, so that is, I think, my weakness in here. In real life, I did many years of silkscreen printing, and I always love glow-in-the-dark inks. That was my favorite. I'm a glow-in-the-dark dork. It's too much fun. So, this is why I try to protect you guys from me going live for real. Oh, slippers from the same creator. <gasps> Topic! What's up? Thank you for being here. This is the end of Oh wait, wait. Be sure to fill out this uh here, my form. Let me copy and paste it here to get up wearable and PO app since you are here. Oh I've gotten two responses, so I hope Wearable add on. You guys gotta all get on there and here, wait, send let me get a link again so you guys can all get your wearable and PO app. So we'll have two different wearables. The first three will get the UFO wearable and the rest will get I like the filter. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> I just I just I just did it for the first few ones and I always had fun. Oh, question. Can I ask a question? Why is your camera a filter effect? I just always thought it was a fun filter. And I've kind of kept it. But usually when I do interviews with people, I don't have a filter. So, oh, oh look more glowy things. The little arm part, but that took a really, really long time to load. Tobik is one of my favorite, by far, creators of content on YouTube for Decentraland. So if you guys don't know who he is, why don't you drop your YouTube channel, Tobik? Your stuff is awesome. Your videos, you edit all your videos, right? You do an amazing job. You really do. Like. Big, big, A++++. plus plus plus. Oh, here. These are the wearables. See, Kyle. He was actually one of the builders who built a build. Oh, no. Spam away, please. I'm asking you. I just, I love, here it's all about sharing, like, the builders, the creators, the people supporting DCL. And you're a huge person in the community that does that. And your videos are badass. So, please put the link in here. It is not a spam. Ha, ah, yes, he has the awesome content for sure. Do you, you do your own editing, right, Tobik? I think he said he did. Oh my god, this is taking so long. Oh, not now? Somebody else does them for you? Oh wow, that probably frees up a lot of time. It is a lot of work, isn't it? I think... So these are some of the wearables I have. So everybody who submits will get a wearable. Either you're going to get the wearable of um, the UFO ones, the first three. 
and then or you're going to get these. So please fill out that form and get a POAP and it's it's just fun stuff that I like to make for you guys. And these are fun things that I got given by cool people and he actually Z Kyle was one of the sub grant recipients of and he did a, one of the builds um for the grant that we were a part of, which is really cool. Yeah, but create back to Toby, creating content is is a lot of work. That's why I love to showcase a lot of times like the behind the scenes, like what I did in this stream before you got here, I was showcasing um Oh whoops. Now it went back to expand. No. Here, let me go. there we go. It's very picky sometimes. I like I was showcasing um the build process and also like some of the behind the scenes blender creation of the wearable and of like textures and items for in the in game stuff and the small part I did for that and each build that we have done I've done different things I've done a bunch of wearables I've done a bunch of models and also streaming like this to talk about what we've done and um but I was trying to find here I'm going to use this other computer cuz I, I cuz I was trying to find something to post here what is your channel? Please share it. It's, oh, I'm switching between different DCL streams. Oh, you are. To see what people are doing. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, you should check out the earlier part of the stream where I was showcasing um, Blender tips and showcasing um, what um, the whole build was about, which was actually based on Fire Up Mules, a real in real life event here in Southern Colorado. And from there was a recreation of that and then the two puzzle games that were created for that. Oh, cool. Oh, YouTube, everyone, check it out. Give him a follow. Huge fan. Let's see, what am I doing? Let's go back in here. Yeah, a lot of times it's me rambling, but sometimes I, I, I have like two people I reach out to. I love interviewing people, but sometimes it's a lot of work, which I'm sure you know too, Tobik. And also... Frisky Bumblebee, I'm sure you both know. Whenever you do interviews, it's it's a lot of fun, but it's also like it, it makes your stream like you know people think it's just an hour, but it's really all that time to plan, all the time to create, all the time to interview, and a lot of times I do edit those, but like sometimes I don't. I just but especially when it comes to interviews, you want to do pre-recorded stuff because then it gives more flexibility when you actually are able to um, interview people. So. Yeah, here are, I always like to check these out. These glowy ones are really cool. I think they go well with my outfit. They'd be to add even more, more of a glow bling factor. But I definitely, if Tobik, maybe you know of some, I really want to interview some more wearable creators. It's really, I've been, I've reached out to a couple, and there's some really cool people, but a lot of people are so busy. But it would be fun. I love, fe again, featuring the people, the builders and creators, and and seeing their design process and build process to me is so cool. Look at that. Wait. There we go. That one's really cool, too. So Neon Stars by Super Nina. Let's check out Super Nina. Cool. So that's her one thing in her collection. I only have one in my collection, but it's fun now that more and more creators are within here. Um, you can start seeing how their collections evolve. So it's such a fun time to be a part of here because you know this is going to explode and go crazy. You too, Tobik. Tenemos que hacer un stream en español alguna vez. Esa es la cosa que ojalá que esto fuera un poquito más como Twitter stream. And not Twitter stream, como, yeah, Twitter spaces así que la gente pudiera hablar con cada uno pero la próxima vez me encantaría tenerte y hacer un stream en español if you got that I was just saying I would love to have him on the show because he's from Argentina and it would be great to do a show in Spanish that was my I'm originally from South America as well so it'd be fun to he speaks it much better than me I'm sure <laughs> so this is a pretty popular one you can see all the people that have bought this I really like that too. It's so cool. I like how the, the little world there that looks super 3D. You can tell the stars are a little bit are more flat and the moon has a cool shape to it. But see it, Tobig. 
Thanks for coming by. But he's already gone. So, but still, thanks for coming by. Hovering heads. Let's actually I haven't checked that one out. Let's check what that looks like. This is where I think we could do like a 24-hour stream on just wearables. I think there needs to be like a wearable build-a-thon. I know they have game jams, but they need to do like I guess that's the the fashion festival is kind of like that, but it would be fun just to have like a crazy stream of everyone just building. So I guess it's just that floating head. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's kind of disturbing. There's the bag of weed, just in case you need one in the metaverse for whatever reason. There's the... what is that? That's pretty funny. Let me go to you. Where is like the... Hold on. How can you... Do, do, do... Oh, recently listed. Newest. That's what I wanted. I guess I was on newest. Maybe it hasn't listed. How about let's check recently sold. Let's see what's moving into Central Land right now. The parrot, I have to say, a parrot would be pretty cool. I'm tempted there. Queen of Hearts, that's a popular one. Money Green Halo. Wings, you can never have enough wings. Cool Sparkle by Doki. Cool Moon Glow. It's such a wide variety, it's hard to know exactly. What was that? Mana Cannon? That's cool. I want a Mana Cannon. Shooting thousands of mana at me so I could buy more wearables. <laughs> I think it would be cool just like award people a bunch of mana that they can only use to buy wearables. Legendary weed. It's interesting. What a, a wide variety of things. Let's see what other categories we can search for. Um, let's go to cheapest. Let's see what's going for really, really cheap. Zero. Wait, free? Let's see. Let's see if that's real, that I could buy for nothing. Polygon to cover the tension of Matic. Let's see if it's going to let me do this. Oh wait, you need is one in order to get the item use. Oh. Let's see what happens. If anything, I still want I'm gonna store her and I'll pay one mana, even if it ends up being not free. Continue to Polygon. Let's see what happens. See, I couldn't get away with not buying something. Except if there's a gas fee of like $100. I should do it. I'm not gonna click yes. Um, the Matic it's very, very, very tiny. I really don't know what, what amount that is. Let's see. I don't think that's even... Let's just see what happens. Might as well get it. Well, see, I had no willpower. I ended up buying something. But it's from Doki, who actually did a really great video all about how to transfer weights from um, GitHub to Central Land wearables where you can access them and copy and transfer their weight painting onto your wearables, which has saved me. So I definitely would like to support her regardless because she's awesome. Let's see what other ones she has.
all types of cool hair and outfits. And actually, she's helped me a lot before. She helped me with like some issues I had with my first wearable. She's just awesome. <laughs> she's a character and super knowledgeable about Blender. She has done all this cool stuff. I'm gonna have to come back and get something else too to support her because she's she's really cool. Well, I think that's it for today, guys. Um, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you learned something, enjoyed the stream, got yourself a POAP, a wearable. Be sure to um, fill out the form. And um, let's uh, let's find my music. Um, let's get some music going again. It's starting to get super windy here, so I think it's going to probably um, crash my computer. Well, maybe not. Hopefully not. But Thank you guys for joining me. Get your POAP, get your wearable, and I appreciate all you guys sticking through, listening to me ramble, and hopefully getting inspired to create some cool stuff in Decentraland. Catch you guys next time.